Hey guys, welcome back to this video. Um, so basically what we're doing in this video is we're just playing around with the code here and understanding it. And basically we're going to set up jQuery Mobile. And in the previous videos, we set up Cordova. So if you're new to this video, please watch the other two videos so you can set up Cordova. And that's basically what we're going to be doing in this video so let's get started so first what we need to do is we need to open up our code editor and I would recommend you guys using sublime but you can use other code editors like notepad plus plus and Atom. so let me just open up my code editor I'm gonna sublime so once we open it up, we want to open up our folder. And the reason why I like Sublime is because you can open up your folder and access all the other files. And you can't really do that with with Notepad++. Um, so I called it Cordova Test, so select folder. Alright, so this is basically our whole program application here so our root our basic like JavaScript CSS and HTML files are located under the WW folder and all our other things other files will be located under here so far the only platform we have is on browser but we're gonna be adding like Android um, icons everything's here so let's open up this index.html file you can just get rid of this um, I'm gonna call this jQuery mobile app close get rid of that so far I don't think we have anything on our index well we have this this is our basic whatever we have here um so let's just get rid of this index.css or let's just delete everything in here okay make sure we have this it's responsive because you really because that's very important um so what now what we have to do is set over to Google oh, I can't spell today jQuery mobile just type in jQuery mobile click on the first thing click on download and then we're gonna be copying the CDN you can also uh, copy the or sorry not copy but you can download the zip file and incorporate the, those files into your code um, that's another option as well and I will be set the next video is if you want to do that then I can show you guys how to do that so that will be the next video but if you're going with the CDN then you can just skip the next video and go into that other video so let's just copy that head over back to our code um, and then just In here so we've set up jQuery mobile so now what we have to do is we have to start coding so right now our app looks like the 
doesn't look right. Um. Wait, let's get back. Let me get back to the command prompt. CD Cordova test. Cordova run browser. Now it should. Okay, this is our app now. Okay. Let's see if we just add something H1 tag. You know what? Let's just open up the file. Now I'll just make it easier because then we don't have to keep going back in. I think that was a syntax error. Okay, there we go. Uh, so now, enough with all the other things, and let's start start coding. So first, what we have to do is for jQuery Mobile, we have to define a page. Uh, I'm gonna give this idea a page of home. So we basically defined our page here with an ID of home and we give our pages an ID because all of the pages are stored on one file. So in order to differentiate we give it an ID. So in this video we're going to be um, using the basic page structure which is the page and under the page you'll have the header and then you'll have the main content and then you have the footer. So in order to define your header, you want to use div data role goes header. I'm going to say my home page. So that's our header. And now if you want to define our content going to say this is the content of my app and then let's space this out a bit okay and then lastly we want to define our footer basically our app home page uh, it's gonna be pretty basic um, this must be a problem here Okay, there we go. You just have to make sure you place it at the top here so it works. Okay, so this is basically our app. 
and this is how it will look on a mobile device pretty simple um, and then before we end this video let's just create another page let me say contact okay now we have to set a link to the contact page so we do hashtag then the page IDs which is contact so you do this for any page you want it to link to so click on contact me and then similarly we'll just do go home contact me and then go home and it comes with a beautiful transition um, so that's basically it for this video please give a like if you liked it um, and leave any comments or suggestions down below and I'll be sending the source code for this and all my other videos in the link b below in the description um, in the next video I'll be showing you guys how to basically do the same thing but instead of copying the CDN files we'll be just we'll just use the zip file files so that way you don't depend on anything and the video after that we're gonna be styling our app so once again if you like the video please give a like and if you struggled on this video or anything please um ask and i'll love to answer your questions thank you bye